You're currently top of the WSL. You're having a great spell with England. Two goals in the last game. You must be really enjoying your football at the moment. No, it's good. Um, enjoying playing for Birmingham, obviously, in my club. And you know, when you, you do well for your club, hopefully that gives you some recognition for international that you can try and get in the international squads and teams, etc. So um, I've been fortunate enough to do so. So I'm definitely enjoying my um, playing time and I'm touch wood injury free. And um, I'm excited to be playing. Seems like no time at all to go. We were here for the Sweden game. We didn't really get to speak to you after that. You scored uh, an absolute perler of a goal. Um, what are your memories of that game? Was it was it a slightly easier than you imagined? I don't think we've played that well in, in quite a long, long time. Um, just the attacking football that we played. Um, everyone wanting to get on the ball and everyone wanting to go forward. And I think it was quite um, scary for us to know that that's probably not. We're probably in third gear. Um, you know, we're still learning things that Mark wants us to do and still trying to implement some new strategies. And moving forward, I still think we've got a long way to go. As you get older, you realise how um, precious World Cups and, and European Championships are because you, as you get older, the chances of you playing in the future ones are, are getting slimmer and slimmer. So you kind of got to relish it. So for me, um, I'm excited. But obviously, I'm only excited at this camp because the World Cup's another how many months away. So. Um, and the players that we've got in England and who Mark's able to select is ridiculous. So for me and, and the rest of the team, we're just enjoying being here this week and trying to get whoever goes to that World Cup potentially in 10 months time. Is that on your mind all the time? Obviously, like you said, the competition for places is, is really strong. So how much of it is, is wanting to get the result and how much of it is aware that you, you're constantly sort of having to fight for your position? Again, it's about performances, isn't it? You know, if, you, if the team performs well and you perform well, then hopefully that gives you enough to be in give you the result and to be potentially in the squad again but it's all down to club performances as well and um, it's, it's too far, I don't think it's ever just done one game but ultimately you want to play well for your country because that's what you want to do. I'm starting to get pushed into the veterans section now when we're coming to tournaments in like in squad training that um, but yeah no I'd, you know, I'm getting close to that 100 which would be a massive honour but it's still a long way to go and um, you know but Still a long way behind Farrah Williams, yeah. who's, who in the last game did exceptionally well to break Rachel Yankee's record. Two amazing players, so um, you know, fair play to them both. Just finally, what, what sort of opposition can we expect? What sort of game can we expect from Wales? What was your memory of the last time we played them? They were really, really hard to break down and really frustrating because they're defensively really good. And they bank up really well and try and get numbers behind the ball, and then they've got good quality players in Harding and um, Fishlock as well so you've got to be mindful of you've got to give them respect because they can hurt you if you're not on your game um, but you know again we will give them the respect but ultimately it's about how we can do our best and how we perform and hopefully we'll get the result but they're a great team and it'll be an exciting game.